The legend of Hell's Hollow and Greenwood Cemetery has a dark and sinister past. A past that, whether true or not, one dares not walk through there at night. In the early part of the 20th century, a gang known as the Hounds of Hell's Hollow used the woods outside Greenwood Cemetery as their base of operation. According to legend, the hounds robbed graves in the cemetery, as well as raped and gutted anyone who dare enter at night. They would then hang their victims' organs from trees as a warning to all who pass. Earlier than that, in the 18th, a terrible ice storm fell upon Decatur, leaving many trapped in their own homes. One group of people in particular who resided in the area, now known as Hell's Hollow, resorted to cannibalism in order to survive. In the late 1990s, the Sangamon River flooded the area, causing many graves to spit out the corpses which lay in them. To this day, people claim to see the spirits of those poor souls forever trapped by the hollow within it and the cemetery known as Greenwood. Others still claim to hear the howling of dogs around there at night. But that's only legend, right? Hey guys, James here, bringing you another awesome vlog. So I'm out here at uh, Hell's Hollow uh, behind Greenwood Cemetery. It's in Decatur, Illinois. And uh, for those who don't know, Hell's Hollow has a little bit of a history. Most of the stories you hear aren't true. Uh, back in the 20s, gangsters like Al Capone would come out here and hide bodies or hide out from the cops. Um, none of it was true. Just a bunch of reporters making stories. Uh, but Greenwood Cemetery, now this, this has a history. Uh, very haunted cemetery. Um, it's, uh, known as the City of the Dead here in Decatur. Um, so many, so many stories. Um, I think one of my favorites is the fact that uh, there's a bride, and the bride uh, she shows up on the staircase at uh, at dawn, or uh, looking for her husband. And uh, there's the fence. You really can't get in from here at all. You can't really see the cemetery right now, but uh, trust me, it's there, and it's scary as all hell. Uh, another story, the kids broke in and uh, took a body out of one of the uh, mortuary buildings, and uh, they weren't aware that gla there were glass caskets at the time, so they weren't ready to see the dead body looking at them right back, and they kind of took off. So this fence is moving. I don't know if it's just caught that on camera or not, but this fence just moved. Are you seeing this? No wind. Wow. Okay. Um, that just freaked me the hell out right there. That freaked me the hell out. Okay, there was no wind up till right now. That st fucker started moving. I got, what the fuck? Our voice is on there. All right, so this here is Hell's Hollow. Um, again, back in the 20s, 30s, this is where a lot of the gangsters would come and hide out from the cops and bury bodies. It's a reputation for being haunted, but it's not really, it's just the woods. Uh, the haunted spot is over there at Greenwood Cemetery. So, all right. I'm pretty cold, you can see me shaking, so we're gonna head start heading back, I think. Okay, so over here, over here we have more of the hollow. Uh, again, more rumors of where people used to bring women and rape them and got them and hang their innards from the trees. Again, a lot of uh, false stories, but again, you know, when your reputation is near a uh, haunted cemetery, you're going to get that reputation. So, 
pretty messed up stuff. What the hell? Shit, so he's getting in my fucking van. I want to capture whoever the hell it is. <laughs>